Okay, folks, right here are ripe ghost peppers. I'm going to be putting those in a uh, ghost pepper tequila, and I hope to do uh, maybe a simple syrup, too. I'm going to harvest these, and I'll return inside in the kitchen. Okay, boys and girls. Okay, folks, welcome to Cooking and Drinking with the LNO Show. We're doing uh, basically a ghost pepper tequila. Um, reading different things about, you know, bringing it out, but I don't know necessarily how I'll get it out of this bottle, so I may leave it in like the one tequila I used to have. And because I don't think if it infuses in there, it will make it even more hot. I think it will should reach a point where it has the level of hotness it will have. So, uh, if I'm going to do a shot first, this is actually some Corzo, Corzo, uh, tequila, about a half, a shot now, kind of a shot, I don't know. It's actually a really smooth, nice tequila. I'm going to like push this puppy in here, I guess. I am petrified because it tells you to wear gloves in that when you're handling a ghost pepper. That was one of the things that caught my attention on the uh, label of the plant when I was buying it. I was like, whoa, it tells you to wear gloves when handling the fruit. That's pretty insane. So I read online uh, just before I jumped on here about you let this infuse in the tequila for like 24 hours. I will probably just let it keep going, basically. Give you a kind of a view of it up close. So basically, you just, it's kind of bruised it up when I put it in there. So I will check back in a later video or edit this on to the end. Uh, showing me drinking some of this. Great tequila. Love the bottle. Cost me, I think, 40 bucks. But I don't buy booze very often. And drink it even less. <laughs> Hello, folks. Gonna do a shot of uh, ghost pepper tequila. I'll show you it. I'll throw this down on the counter. I don't feel like busting out my tripod. I'm not going to pour a huge glass, but a teensy thing, just to test it out. It's a very tiny shot, actually. Put the camera on me. A little bit of heat. I'm trying to see if it's any different than a regular uh, tequila shot. Sorry, my appearance. I just actually walked right in the door from Kung Fu. So I got to set my timer. My sprinkler is on on my uh, garden where you get these wonderful ghost peppers. Mm. I'm gonna try me another little shot here. Oh no. Got a little heat, but not as much as I would prefer. A little bit bigger. This would basically combine, kind of be a whole shot all together. It's added more bite to it. I can feel the heat. This is reminiscent of the. Uh, um, um, the 267 uh, chili pepper um, uh, tequila I used to drink back in 2007. The company went out of business, unfortunately, so basically I have to brew my own or steep my own. I can feel it. I, there's a little bit of heat to it. My lips can feel it. Not as much as I thought. I think steeping it longer will definitely do the trick. But there is a wee bit of heat to it, so yeah, it's 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 
beginning to heat up the tequila. If I have to, I'll add more ghost peppers and I'll basically uh, kind of cut them up a little bit more before I, I, I basically uh, put them in this time. But there's a little bit of heat coming to it, but nothing, nothing too bad. Because I, I used to, like I, I said, I, I would always do a shot of that uh, 267 uh, chili pepper tequila, and it gave you a bite. But then again, back then, I really wasn't used to the heat like I am now. I, Because of where I work at, I'm used to hot stuff. Adios, folks. Cooking with Fialano, drinking with Fialano. It's a show.